Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So thank you so much for joining me today. It's an absolute pleasure for you to be here. I am really, really excited to start off this new year with my first pick a card. You guys vote for a pick a card, so this is what you're gonna get. This is the January love prediction. I'm also wearing my dressing gown, so if you can see like my dressing gown, that is that. Uh, it's very cold today, so. So happy new year to everyone. Thank you so much for being patient while I took my uh, two week break. I'm really, really excited to get started. So let's go. So we have group number one, group number two, group number three and group number four. If you'd like to choose your group now as to what your love life will be like in the month of January, 2020. So let's get started. So starting off with group number one, First of all, before I get started, I'm going to do some sound healing. You guys loved it when I did some sound healing last time. So I'm going to do that today. So let's get started with that. we go so let's get started with group number one hello group number one let's get started with your reading so let's see what's going to happen for you in the month of January for your love life so let's have a look so first of all the main energy is going to be panther protection consider who you allow to take your energy and who you give it away freely I love these cards I bought some new cards so you guys are going to see some lovely new cards so i'm very excited about that so your crystal recommendation for this month for uh, your love life is okinite past life patterns all chakras okay and then from the tarot we have page of cups gorgeous sorry about this lighting guys i'm going to try and put it away from the light so you can't so you can see it page of cups seven of pentacles the ace of swords magician and we also have oh and we also have the four of pentacles okay so let me just put those there well it's just really bright now okay so we also have confidence and clarity gorgeous so confidence says self-confidence opens you to the energy required to carry you through each day at the very best we also have clarity clearing your mind brings you closer to your sacred inner wisdom okay so for this group, in terms of your love life in the month of January, I do see you kind of exploring a new person. So if you are single, I do see you kind of having that energy around you. There is someone who is, is important. There's somebody of importance coming towards you who I'm thinking is going to be somebody who you're almost going to be looking look up to. There's somebody who you're going to join forces with. So I feel like this could be to do with work. I'm getting somebody who is um, getting Pisces and Aquarius energy really, really strongly from this group. Um, they're going to be somebody who they're going to be very connected to their energy of work. So if this is somebody who you're looking for and you're, you are single and you're looking for somebody who is very much connected to their work life, they are very, very committed to it. I really do feel like you're going to be meeting this person very, very soon. Okay. So with this Ace of Swords, I do see communication coming forward from someone and you may be blocking yourself off from it because you may be kind of worried if this is actually the right person. This is definitely the right person. I really do feel like they're going to come in, okay? So if you are single, there's definitely somebody new who is coming in and they've definitely got some serious Pisces energy. I feel like this person could be younger than you or they have a very young spirit, okay? So this could also be you where you're working on your um, monies and you're really working hard and seeing the benefit of all the things that you've worked on. 
and I feel like you're finally getting the recognition that you deserve you're finally getting the recognition that you really really have been looking for and there's a lot of mind energy here I feel like there's something a lot to do with the mind a lot to do with intelligence and a lot to do with um a lot to do with brain power okay so this person could be a mathematician you could be a mathematician it could be somebody who loves maths who loves solving problems who's really really good at kind of discovering new parts of life they're very much someone who loves to explore new things so if you are currently in a relationship i do see you're actually just working on yourself you're working on your money you're working on just kind of balancing out both areas of money and work we also with the ace of sword i feel like it's you kind of discovering something new about your relationship and it could be opening up a new kind of area of that um with this with both these cards they have the tiny little figure of eight there's a tiny little figure of eight on the top of this person's hood and there's also a figure of eight above this person's like spiral so i really do feel like it's something to do with the figure of eight energy is kind of coming in so i feel like the, if you are wanting to have a new relationship i feel like there's somebody who's going to come in who's going to stay for a very 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 long time they're very somebody who's very sustainable we've got the four of pentacles i do feel like the four of pentacles is also representing stability as well and normally i see this as a card that's kind of showing you that you don't really want to connect but for some of you i really do feel like this is going to be a connection that's going to last a very long time okay so for those of you who aren't looking for love um, i do see you're working more on your monies you're working more on um, opening up your mind and for a lot of you you're working on finding somebody or at least if it this can um is for anybody who is you're looking for a friendship or relationship you know they're looking you're looking for new connections if you are then i do feel like you are working on figuring out who is the best person to keep in your life and who is the person who you don't think you should kind of like back away you're deciding whether to back away or to kind of be with this person i feel like you're getting very very confident with your boundaries and i think this is really really good you your your mind is becoming clearer and you're becoming more clearer in how you speak and you're becoming more confident in how you approach yourself um there's a lot of past life patterns that are kind of being worked on right now so if you are kind of feeling a bit bogged down if your mind's feeling a bit well completely the opposite to clear if it's feeling very very confused and bogged down and just completely confused then i really do feel like this that's just because you're clearing a lot of past life patterns so be aware of any drama that comes up and try not to interact with it okay so let's have a look at the letters and we're also going to be looking at uh, your star signs that are coming in. So let's have a look at some charms and let's see any letters that want to come through. Okay, one was hidden under there. So we have S and you so they could have a very strong sun sign they could be a fire sign as well we also have r h z x and w and then in terms of any other charms that want to come through let's have a look at their star sign Okay, so in terms of this person's star sign, let's have a look and see what wants to come out. Okay, let's have a look. We have Taurus, Scorpio, and Gemini. So those could be the people who you are connecting with in terms of uh, January. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, I also want to tell you what your, um, what your number is for this month is... Four. so very very stable amazing i love that so much so thank you so much for watching group number one and i hope you have an amazing day if you'd like to get a private reading with me all my information is down below and i'll speak to you very soon bye hello group number two let's get started with your reading so let's see what's going on for you in january uh, 2020 for your love life so the main theme <coughs> excuse me the main theme for you is snake kundalini rising channel your creative passion and sensuality welcome the transformation we also have determination and creativity and we also have courage and then let's have a look at what your crystal is for this month we have prenite release and declutter heart chakra and then from the tarot we have the three of cups 
and we also have the lovers beautiful okay so you guys first of all what i'm seeing for you guys in group number two is that you guys are really going to be connecting with somebody who's going to be very very good for you okay you could also be connecting with somebody who's going to be a friend to start off with I do feel like you could also be meeting this person through work as well. It could be somebody who is really, really close to you. Um, they could, first of all, be a colleague. For those of you who are single and are looking for love, I do see for a lot of you, you're going to be connected with somebody who is most likely going to be a colleague to start off with. And then you're going to meet this person through work and then you're going to, going to be, um, obviously, being in a relationship with them over time, okay? So... This person is going to be very, very creative. I feel like what's really, really good for you in terms of your your life is to be really, really creative at this time, okay? This is also going to help you with your love life. It's going to help you to bring in more of that love. And it's really important for you to have determination in this going forward. If you feel like things are feeling very low, you're not really meeting anyone, it's been a long time since you have been with anyone, just to know that things are changing and it's really, really important for you to channel that creative energy um, to welcome this transformation, okay? So the fact we also have the lovers is very, very good and this is also to do with creativity. So I do feel like you're going to be meeting somebody who's very, very creative, could also have dreadlocks as well or you could have dreadlocks. Um, but it's going to be a very, very special connection. They could also have tattoos. Uh, you or this person could also have a tattoo of a bow and arrow. Um, they could also be a Sagittarius or a fire sign. Um, this is definitely going to be a connection that's really, really divinely timed. So if you're not sure when this person is coming in, don't worry. They will come in at a time when it is right for them and for you. Um, if you aren't looking for love, I do see that it's really, really important for you to just channel your creative energy and to have courage that things will move and things will change and things will happen really, really nicely. Um, also, it's really, really important for you to meditate and to get grounded because I feel like for a lot of you guys are very much in your head at the moment. And because you're releasing and decluttering a lot of old past wounds and things like that, it's really, really important for you to connect with yourself and just be with yourself a lot and just not kind of worry about anybody else at this time. It's really, really important for you to <clears throat> excuse me, focus on yourself and love yourself. I really do am connected with these roses right here. So I really feel like it's good for you to possibly buy yourself some flowers, buy yourself some roses, that sort of thing. Also... We do have the Star of David here. This could also be a dodecahedron. I'm pretty sure that's the shape that I'm thinking of here. That's here. Sorry about my nails. They look dirty, but they're not. It's the, um, I was touching a candle earlier and it kind of went underneath my nail. Um, so if my nails look dirty, I do apologise they're not. It's just a wick from a candle that's underneath my nails. Um, yeah, and it's basically you two are very much connecting with your third eyes. It's going to be a very, very spiritual connection that you two are going to have. Um, if you are in a relationship already, I do see you're very much uh, possibly just connected with new friends. You're going to find new friends, possibly going to find new friends through um, co-workers. And also, as I said, this person, if you are single, you could meet as a friend and then they could turn into a relationship. And yeah, it just looks really, really positive. I love this. So let's see what your lucky number is for this month of January. We have the number two, perfect. So group two and also the number two. So look out for the number two. Let's have a look at your um, letter. Let's see what letters we have today. We have M, G, C, I and L. Okay, so that could also be a, someone's name but it could also be just kind of like a word that you're kind of associating with. Could be their last name as well. And then let's see the star sign of this person. Okay, wow, we've got a lot. Okay, do I want all of these? Don't want all of them. Okay, we don't want all of those. Okay. Pisces, Aries, and we also have Cancer. So those could be the star signs that you are connecting with this month, which is absolutely amazing. Could also be your star sign, okay? So that is your love life reading, guys. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big old thumbs up, 
subscribe to my channel if you would like to thank you so much for being here if you would like a private reading all my information is down below also as an extra also if you'd like to get prayer night to help you with your love life that would really really help to kind of manifest that person and to also release some declutter and to also assist you within your love life okay so thank you so much for watching and i'll speak to you very soon bye hello group number three let's get started with your love life reading for january let's see what's going on for you within the month of january let's see what's going on so we have for your overall energy we have the golden unicorn ascension awaken to your soul's potential we also have hedgehog acceptance embrace who you are and then we also have giraffe the bigger picture take a step back and gather your thoughts and feelings we then have patience opportunity and nurture for your crystal recommendation you got two cards we have chaya stolite past loved ones root chakra and we also have communication blue lace agate throat chakra so those two are your crystal recommendations that i highly recommend for the month of january for your love life and to just help you in general in life anyway and then we also have from the tarot we have the world we have the ace of wands and we have the king of pentacles gorgeous so you guys have a really nice group you have quite a few cards more than group one and two so I do feel like your love life, I feel like is going to be probably the most impactful in the month of January. I do feel like you guys are definitely going to be meeting somebody if you are single and wanting love. If you are interested in this person, or obviously if you're interested in meeting somebody, there's going to be somebody who's very, very connected with their money. There's going to be somebody who's very stable, going to have a job, going to have a, a very long-term goal within their job. If they don't have a job, they're going to be very very determined to get one or they're going to be possibly in between jobs where they're possibly working on their business but they haven't actually started their business yet so most but for most of you you're possibly going to meet this person when they're at a very very good financial state in their life um i do feel like this person i'm going to turn that down a little bit it's a bit bright there we go so i also feel like this person is going to be a fire sign most definitely fire sign or earth i'm really really connecting with that we're also going to have a look at that um a little bit later on as well this person's going to be creating a really really nice opportunity for you you're going to have an opportunity to meet this person okay um it says opportunity the world is full of opportunities waiting to be discovered and we also have acceptance embrace who you are so if you are looking for a new partner and you're looking for somebody who is going to be obviously your soulmate then i do feel like it's really, really important for you to accept yourself for who you are and to know that it's okay to be yourself, okay? It's okay for you to embrace who you are and have patience in that, have patience in your own abilities, okay? Your own abilities to accept yourself. With this unicorn card, I feel like it's very, very powerful, okay? We have Ascension, awaken to your soul's purpose. So to meet your soulmate, you could also be, um, the way you would meet them could be through meet, um, starting your soul purpose, which you possibly are not working at the moment or you're possibly in between jobs or you're possibly just waiting on them you, on a spiritual level obviously you wouldn't be aware of this your um your spiritual your soul is waiting for them to find their soul purpose where you may have already found yours and then you can actually meet in the middle and then once they find theirs then you're going to meet up together obviously it this is a general reading so take it as it resonates um definitely with this person you're going to be starting a new cycle so if you are feeling like obviously 2020 is like a new year so if you obviously you're far, if you are feeling like you're starting a new cycle definitely going to meet somebody by then if you are already in a relationship i do see that it may feel like you're actually going to be starting a new cycle it may just feel like you're starting a new cycle with this person it could also mean you're going to a high level of commitment and there's going to be an opportunity for you to do that also i feel like this connection is going to have much more nurturing energy into it i feel like both of you are actually starting to understand what you guys' love uh, languages are and you're going to understand that and nurture each other's love languages i do also feel like you or your partner could also be getting a new job and that could also ascend your relationship where you're having to adjust kind of how much time you can spend with each other and kind of your job might the job might be getting in the way but it also is going to be a really really good opportunity for you and your and your partner to kind of have a new sense in the relationship you know it's going to change things up but it's going to be a positive shift if you're not looking for love i do sense that you are very much connected to your soul's purpose you're really really focusing on that and you're focusing on being who you are and kind of figuring out what feels really really good for you and what really suits you okay with this giraffe the bigger picture take a step back and gather your thoughts and feelings 
I really feel like it's kind of looking directly at your future and thinking okay what is the path that I want to start making okay whether it's um possibly in terms of just anything it doesn't have to be to do with love this I feel like is actually understanding that whatever path you take you will be guided to your person if you're single um if you're in a relationship I do definitely feel like there could be there's definitely an element around money around this group so if you are looking to have a new job I do definitely feel like you guys are going to get it by the end of January if not it'll be the start of February middle of February and I feel like communication is very very important okay this person's possibly going to open you up to communicating you may feel a bit worried about communicating because things might not have gone as planned in terms of your love life but I do feel like communication is coming in whatever that means to you if you are looking for love and you're waiting for communication from a certain person or you're, or you're just wanting to, to find someone new that is that coming in and your past loved ones are actually assisting you with you finding your person okay um, and they're trying to get you to nurture yourself more so you can actually be on the same level as this person in terms of vibration and then you meet in the middle and find each other okay so I'm also wanting to pull another card I have my C Melodies card I'm actually going to pull you guys one because I haven't actually used this deck before and none of the other groups had this so I'm really wanting to do this for you guys but you're definitely starting a new start um, oh my god we have patience twice I love that so much we have patience and patience I love that and also I was looking at the world and she's so happy like look how happy she is and the card that we got was optimism isn't that amazing after each rainstorm there will be clear skies I love that and with this patient card it says the tide will come in when it's ready okay so if you are waiting on someone to come in if you're waiting for a new start with somebody if you're waiting to ascend to the next level with somebody just have patience and if you need to communicate to your partner definitely do that obviously if you're not happy or you're not you're unsure about something if you are in a relationship obviously talk to your partner um, or just communicate to, to yourself am I living the life that I want is there anything that I can do to ascend to, the, to a new level if there isn't then that's fine just wait it out have patience and everything's going to be working out at the right time okay guys I know it's frustrating when you're waiting for something trust me I know I'm in the same boat um but honestly guys it's going to be fine don't worry so let's have a look at your lucky number what's the number that you should be looking out for in the month of uh january let's have a look we have the number four perfect that is stability that's amazing i love that so much and then let's have a look at your person uh their name or anything like that or just a name that's going to be very kind of um strong for you something that's going to be you know catching your attention so we have the letter t z and we also have E. So any of those letters could be very, very important. And then we're also gonna have a look at this person's star sign. Let's have a look and see what their star sign's gonna be. Let me grab this. I'm not looking at this guy, so I can't actually see what I'm doing. I'm gonna pick a couple, that one, okay, let's have a look. Okay, we have, <clears throat> excuse me, we have Libra, and it says charming. We have Cancer, which says imaginative. And you also have Gemini, which is intelligent. So it could be somebody that you're meeting. This could also be your star sign as extra clarification, okay? So that is your reading, guys. If that wants to focus. You're going to focus? There we go. <laughs> that is your reading, guys. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for being here. I really, really appreciate you. If you'd like a private reading, all my information is down below. And I'll speak to you very soon. Love you. Bye. Hello, group number four. Let's get started with your reading. Let's see what's happening for you in your love life in January 2020. So let's get started. So the main energies we have are the bear. Oh, I love this card. It's so cute. You are the light. It is safe for you to step fully into your light. Dear. Trust. Approach the situation with a light heart. And then we also have rabbit. Sensitive soul. Sens okay can't speak <laughs> strengthen your boundaries and cut cords i love that it, all these cards are very like light colors which is really really pretty very aesthetically pleasing <laughs> and then we also have empowerment the determination of your mind and soul will guide you towards unleashing inner power the crystal i highly recommend for you for the month of january in your uh, love life is lepidolite trust we have trust twice that's amazing we have trust here and trust here so you guys need to trust i know some of you guys aren't who are watching this i know the cards are telling me that's what they're telling me so let's see what tarot is coming for you today 
we have the two of wands gorgeous what a great start two of wands full five of pentacles the hierophant three of wands queen of wands and knight of wands you guys have a lot of tarot i never actually realized how much tarot you had for this group so the first thing i'm really really looking at is how happy this guy is he is freaking having the time of his life he's like yes living my best life so i really do feel like you guys are going to be in this energy very soon if you're not in this energy now you will be very soon this is giving me really good vibes this is almost like the full vibes and we have the full here so what's going to happen for you guys if you are single and you are looking for love there's definitely going to be somebody who's going to come in and they're going to make you very 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 happy okay and number five i'm really really connecting with and zero as well so starting a new life that feels very very creative very um expansive and you're really really being yourself okay i really love this this is so good this is going to be somebody who's coming in who is very 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 grounded they could also look like this they could have um brown skin they could have like long hair they could actually look like this guy if you're looking for a, a male um also they're going to be somebody who's very spiritual so they could most likely have long hair uh, i know a lot of spiritual guys i mean not to be obviously too focused on that but obviously a lot of spiritual men do normally have longer hair that's just kind of what i've noticed <laughs> for some reason obviously not all of them do but some of them do obviously because it's quite a natural way to kind of let your hair down i do also feel like a lot of you guys are going to be letting your hair down and meeting somebody who's very very connected to their soul and is going to help you connect with your soul obviously um when i said about guys having long hair obviously not everyone's going to have long hair that is just kind of what i've noticed okay so we also have two of wands and the three of wands this is showing me that you could easily meet somebody through travel i feel like you could also be planning a trip and it's going to be something to do with camping i do feel like but also you'll possibly be buying yourself a globe or you are kind of making a cozier home for yourself in within your room within your home something like that there could also be a purple crystal that you're really really focusing on right now I'm really really looking at this purple crystal so what's happening for you guys is you really need to focus on putting yourself out there and obviously i don't mean this in a sense that you have to go clubbing to pubs i'm not talking about that i hate it when people say you have to get out there like what does that mean <laughs> what does that mean what i mean in a sense of when i say get out there i mean to empower yourself to step into your power and to say no when you mean no and yes when you mean yes and to really kind of live your life the way you want to live it and not to base it on what other people think you should live it or how you should live it and to also understand that a lot of you are very very sensitive so it's very very important for you to cut cords uh, put down your boundaries very strongly when someone is coming in and is also is possibly just not vibing well with you or somebody who you want to keep in your life but you also need to put very firm boundaries down i do sense there's going to be somebody who is a spirit guide it's going to be very much connected with you this month i don't know who this is they're just i'm just hearing i don't know who this is but if you know who i'm talking about with a, a guide could be an angel could be an archangel could be a fairy i don't know it could be god it could be i don't know it could be an ancestor do you know whoever you think i'm talking about that is who i'm talking about okay there's somebody who's going to really really help you to embrace who you are and they're telling you to um come away from family patterns okay <clears throat> and it could be to do with communication because i could not clear my throat then um yeah it's actually coming away from feeling like you're in the dark feeling like you can't get out i always uh, when i first bought this deck which was very recently i only got this like a couple of weeks ago I find this really really interesting because the girl is sitting here but she actually has a key to the lock so it's almost like you're possibly putting feeling like you're putting yourself in your own situation and it's basically what's happening here is you're having to focus uh, like physically say to yourself like look we need to focus more on the positives okay and further away from the negatives and really trust that things are going to change okay i love the fact we've got the queen of wands and the knight of wands it's very very feminine power obviously if you're a male that doesn't really matter but i really do feel like there's so much feminine energy here you know like obviously male and female do have feminine and masculine energies but with the knight of wands obviously the knight is more depicted as a, as a male this is more showing me there's a lot of feminine energy here so i really do feel like there's some sort of like your solar plexus is really being almost triggered this month to kind of get you to say that like, look if there's anything you need to do to, to help yourself, if there's anything to do that will ignite 
you're in a flame that will make you feel very passionate about life, just go and do it, you know? And if you're not sure that is, that's totally fine. You will find it at some point and you will feel more complete with your life, okay? If you are in a relationship in terms of love, I do feel like you are possibly going to be traveling with a partner. I do feel like you're gonna be going out to new places you're possibly it's possibly going to be like a whole thing about new year new me kind of deal and you're wanting to look at new things go to new restaurants possibly go to a different country or even move to a different country this is also showing me you may be leveling up you may be planning a wedding maybe planning your own wedding in a different country you may also be going to a wedding with your partner um to possibly like a relative's wedding or a family member's wedding or some sort of celebration like that i'm getting, I'm getting like just a celebration you're you're attending it may not actually be your own wedding it could be a party or something but i'm seeing like just very nice decorations like white tablecloths with like white chairs with kind of like that white kind of cloth on it with like a bow wrapped around it and then you have like all the table kind of placement things like the flowers and things like that i'm just seeing a lot of like decorative things we also have empowerment here the determination of your mind and soul will guide you towards unleashing your inner power exactly it's just basically just concentrating on yourself and just knowing that things will change and there is just a, a massive optimist optimistic thing here which i really really like okay i'm also getting the um like a triangle kind of coming in there's a tiny little triangle that this woman has on her little toggles oh no it's her earrings i think but there's like tiny little triangles i'm really kind of seeing is very very connected to like there's like a triangle and it's very very connected to your your direction it's like you're going towards something and your life is being pointed in that direction so if you're worried that you're not on the right path you are being directed in that way okay uh leopard is a very big very good crystal for the month of january so possibly look into that if you feel like you need to have more trust um for those of you who aren't looking for love as i said i really feel like you're very much connected with your own feminine power your own um fire your own drive for life okay so let's see what your lucky number is for the month of January. Well, okay, we have the number three. So all about creativity, expression, all that sort of jazz. So let's have a look at your letter or letters for this month. We have the letters of letter H. We have V and we also have K and L. And then let's have a look at your star signs. Let's have a look and see what signs want to come in. whoa that was a lot okay i don't want that many don't want that many i'm not even looking when i do this guys so i'm looking away okay i want those two that is those two well okay and that one obviously that one popped out so we have gemini scorpio and leo scorpios and gemini seem to be very very popular in this video today so those are your signs to look out for and possibly that could be your own um zodiac sign as well so thank you so much for watching this video guys if you like this video don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up and subscribe if you would like to thank you so much for being here if you'd like a private reading all my information is down below also look out for black cats it's going to be a very strong omen for you i'm really connected with this black cat and candles as well light some candles obviously in a safe space <laughs> um so thank you so much for watching guys and i'll speak to you very soon bye